there are not too many universities in the world that have a, an engineering school, a design school and a business school. And this applies to these three universities. And the good thing is that, that we also have uh, colleagues, friends, people in the field that we have been working with already for many years, so we know each other quite well. And that's a good basis for, for building a program together. We also bring in expertise from the, uh, the different uh, locations, but also we provide possibilities for our students to learn more about what's happening in the other areas. And we think of field projects where people can even sit together and learn in teams and work together alongside with students from these two other universities. Bringing the three disciplinary background students together with two approaches of making them work together. Uh, the first thing is we will have projects that specifically design to enable them to you know, work together rather than you know, they studying uh, themselves individually. Uh, they will work on the same project and the project will become a common thread all along the learning. Uh, the second thing is we are using specific methods and process which is human-centered, user-centered. So uh, students from design, from uh, business and from technology backgrounds they could focus on the end user, end customer need and develop a, a newer product or service or system solution based on this particular process and method. In order to understand technology, uh, one thing that is uh, very important for students from design and business domain is to understand a concept called system. So because in our world we have many systems, so how to understand the uh, composition of the systems, the components, and how to analyze it or break it down to smaller pieces is a quite central concept in technology and science and engineering. We also have to understand how they can work and connect to them. So they need to actually come out of their own uh, disciplinary field and develop a better understanding of the ways of working of these other disciplines. And through doing that, they develop this themselves into like T-shaped professionals. Within the program, we will uh, cover systems, system thinking, and also um, system development process. And also, we'll talk about um, computing and also information technology, uh, which is uh, quite core to our last 20 years of development. The unique spaces will attract the most influential corporations and NGOs in the region to collaborate, and students will form networks that will be valuable to them for a very long time. Actually, Open innovation is about connecting people. So in the old days, uh, we have big companies that has many experts within the company, and they form teams to collaborate and innovate. Nowadays, we are talking about small individuals that are available on the internet. They are collaborating with each other. So maybe individuals may not meet each other physically very often, but they can collaborate and create things that are, can be sell, can be used by people. When you're talking about the common trends, I can see that uh, we are, our way of change, our life will be changed. Our way of living will be changed. How we're going to run our business will be changed. Because we think we have a lot to offer um, uh, as a regional hub in terms of methodologies, in terms of approaches, in terms of uh, teaching environment, so that also they will benefit from, let's say, coming to Hong Kong. And then they will work in teams with those who are from other places. The Innovation Tower will become a cultural icon for Hong Kong. It will be a magnet for students from around the world who would like to understand the cultural diversity and vibrancy of this region. Exciting ideas generated from this program will be supported by galleries, museums, and all the collaboration spaces within the building. Students will be coming from different uh, countries and continents, and I think this learning of different culture, different way of practice, way of seeing things, is a great challenge to the student, but it will be very interesting for as a program, as a way to deal uh, with the real world uh, international problem. <laughs>